Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a uh, quick look once again at Google Chrome. We will look at some of the features from time to time. And once uh, uh, I do the videos, remember that these Google Chrome videos are in a playlist. So you can actually just click the playlist and look at the videos that uh, maybe will uh, help you uh, master Google Chrome a little more and learn more about your browser. We're going to take a look at the search engine, the default search engine and also the different options of the font size and the zooming on your browser. So depending on how big your screen is and how, what device you're using, uh, there are different options that can be set by default. So go into your uh, Google Chrome browser on the upper right in the three vertical dots. There you'll go into the settings. And once you're in the settings, you'll go into appearance and you'll be here. So in appearance, first of all, you have one option, which is a show the home button, which is that little house here. A lot of people have the, uh, the C, don't, don't actually know what that does. And it brings you back to your home page. My home page is google.ca. So you know what? What happens with that is that I, if I click that button, I get back to the home page of google.ca. It could be any page that you choose, by the way. And then you have, of course, what it's going to do. The home button is going to open this website. You can change that and you can put it your favorite news website, your favorite website that you go to every day, a gaming site, whatever. And that will be your main uh, button. That will be your home where you go to every time you click that button. You can show the bookmarks bar if you want, which is the bookmarks uh, that you have stored. Uh, some like it, some don't want it. It does take a little bit of the screen real estate, so there's less to view. Depends on everybody what you want. Um, honestly, I don't use it much, so I'm just going to actually do this uh, and make sure it's not there. Then you have the font size. The font size is nice because it will dictate... Uh, the different options, the different size of your menus and the text inside the menus and so on. Once again, the bigger the text, the less information on one page. So set it right so that you have the maximum amount of information, but to a size that's comfortable to read. So depending on, you know, if you use a big screen or a, you know, you're on your uh, TV, um, you know, a 50 inch TV or more, well, you'll want to change that font size depending on how far you are from the screen and so on. You can customize the fonts by changing the font size. There's a mini, uh, like a minimum font size that you can choose. You can choose the standard font. So depending on what you choose here, you see that it changes the uh, different uh, styles of the menu and the text. So it depends what you like or not. And of course, uh, this is the standard font. Um, so the different fonts that have to go with the different options of your uh, of your uh, menus and, and where you are exactly. So um, in appearance, you also have the page zoom. Zoom is automatically set at 100, but you cannot. Uh, if you have a you know a, a touchpad, for example, you can pinch or expand your fingers, two fingers on the touchpad that will usually expand or not the zoom also. And it depends, some are independent from the zoom that you have on the, the display. Remember that uh, using control plus or control minus or on a, a Mac, uh, command plus, command minus, you can zoom in and out of web pages here. So all of that is in here. The other thing that is interesting is the search engine default. When you go to the address bar on the top here, you are searching with Google by default, but you can click here and change that. You can use DuckDuckGo, Bing, Yahoo, uh, depending on what you want to do. You can also manage search engines and add some that aren't in the list. Uh, that is where all of that is happening. You can, of course, make the browser default, which means in Windows it's going to be uh, the default browser that you're going to use. On startup, what do you have? On startup, you have a page that appears. You can have a new tab page. You can continue where you left off, meaning it's going to show you the last web page you were on, 
or you can open a specific page or set of pages, which is what I have here. And once again, set that to the page that you like. If you don't know the URL of the page, what you could do is go to that page and then uh, click use current pages or, you know, that will add what you have, uh, depending on how many pages you have um, open on your browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.